Hi, my name's Pro Tips and Martin. Here are my tips for the weekend. Um, Saturday, I'm in the Premier League for this one. It's at Selhurst Park, and it's the game between Crystal Palace and Burnley. Now, I think it's going to be a very, very tight game. Um, Burnley have won the last three in a row against Crystal Palace. However, we all know how bad Palace started uh, at the beginning of the season with the boar in charge, and the report at the back end of last season as well. Um, However, Roy Hodgson has come in and done a fantastic job, let's be honest about it. Um, Palace are 14th now, they're, you know, they're still looking over their shoulders, still got um, a long way to go to pull away from that relegation zone. Um, but they've actually started scoring goals. If you, if you remember, I think six or seven games in a row at the start of the season, they didn't score. And now they've actually scored one more goal than Burnley have all season in the Premier League, which is pretty impressive. Um, uh, Palace did lose... However, to, to their rival, well, is it Derby? To their rival, Brighton in the Cup recently. Um, but they did get a good away win against Southampton before that. And let's not forget they got a great draw at Selhurst Park. Um, a nil-nil draw against Manchester City. Not many teams can get any points off them at the moment. Um, whereas Burnley, um, they've had a great season. There's, you know, there's no two ways about that. Um, they only need two wins really to, to be safe. Um, but I wonder if the, you know, the, the wheels are starting to fall off a little bit because they haven't won in their last six. Um, and they, they're, they're keeping teams out. Yeah, they're great at the back. Um, there's no denying that. But they're struggling up front, um, at the moment. And they lost to sit, they got fumped by City, uh, in the cup. They lost to Liverpool before that in the league. They drew a blank, drew nil nil with Huddersfield before that. So they need to start picking up some points again, really, and um, getting some wins under their belt to, to keep the pressure on at the top so that they, you know, a top half finish for them would be fantastic. And Sean Dyche um, has done a wonderful job there this season. Um, so if they can get back to winning ways here, you know, that would do wonders for the, for the club. However, I said at the start that this will be tight to call, and I've actually gone for the draw here at 3.22. Just because... Burnley don't concede much at the back. However, Palace do enjoy um, going forward, especially at home, being on the front foot. And with Zaha, if he's in form, then um, you know he, he's got great talent and can cause any team problems. I do wonder if Nkodu will will make his debut or not for Burnley. Um, he's signed from Spurs. He's a tricky tricky player. Um, I just don't think he got enough game time at Spurs. And moving to Burnley, I think that's a great signing for him. Um, Sort of Zaha-esque, I guess. Um, but it remains to be seen whether he'll be a hit or not, but I think this is a promising signing. Um, and Palace, oh, I can see this being a one all to be honest. I, I think Palace need to sort themselves out up top. Can't rely on Zaha all the time. Um, ben Teke's not doing it at the moment, let's be honest. He scored one goal all season and... The Palace fans um, are getting on his back, and, and the players even. You know, he took that penalty off. Um, I can't, can't pronounce his name. The the midfield guy uh, and missed a few weeks back. So that caused some unrest. Um, there's been talk of Diafra Sacco as well, actually signing in the window um, to maybe either replace Benteke or or part of Benteke up front. And I think they need that to start banging in some more goals this season. Um, I don't think this will be a high scoring affair. So, you know, it might be worth considering unders if you, if you fancy that kind of market. Um, but I, I fancy a nil-nil or one draw here. So I've gone for the draw at 3.22. Hello guys. How's it going? Pro Tipster Paddy here with, uh, my weekend tips. So, uh, yeah, that creepy picture's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, she looks like she'd, uh, wake up and talk to you at night time. So, uh, yeah. Don't kill me when I sleep tonight, strange girl. <laughs> um, I know it's a bit freaky. Anyway, look, uh, my tips for this weekend. Um, um, my Saturday tip, even though it's, uh, it's a Friday tip, I suppose, for American viewers. And uh, both of them come from the NBA. I'm going to go for a double here, a home team double with the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, we're taking on the Utah Jazz and the Atlanta Hawks, who are at home to the Brooklyn Nets. So a double here of both home teams is uh, available at 2.45. I'm going for this. 
Um, look, I, I don't like backing teams that are very short on um, on odds. I also don't particularly like uh, taking uh, teams on on on, on, on uh, big handicaps. So uh, I've put both both these teams together. I think uh, they should win, um, and the double should come off. Look, um, the the Hornets on paper their their home record isn't great. They've uh, ten out of twenty one wins, but they're they're taking on Utah Jazz, who are. You know, it's it's bad versus worse here. Uh, Utah Jazz are pretty bad on the road. They've only four out of uh, twenty one wins away from the Beehive State. So you know, you'd fully expect the Hornets here to win. I see what I did there. Beehive Hornets. Hey. So um, yeah, they're fairly they're they're heavy favorites here. The Hornets, and even though their home record isn't great. Uh, home advantage and, uh, and 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 coupled with sorry coupled with the Utah Jazz's bad away record should see them uh, see off the Utah Jazz fairly comprehensively here. Uh, the second one, uh, the Atlanta Hawks and the Brooklyn Nets, it's fairly similar to uh, to the Hornets match. In fairness, the Hawks aren't brilliant. The the Nets are are even worse. Um, what's the records I have here? Yeah, but in fairness, uh, the, the Hawks okay, they've only won seven out of eighteen at home, but f- they've won four out of the last five and five out of the last seven at home. So they have picked up uh, a good run at home. Uh, I had a, a live live stream tip uh, against the Hawks, and and they proved me wrong. So um, yeah, I lost that one during the week. Um, Budenhausers. Buden Hulzers, that's some name, isn't it? Uh, the Atlanta Hawks uh, code head coach there, he uh, proved me wrong. Um, I have a lot of time for him. He was the All Star coach there a while ago. He was manager of the year there in 2015 as well. He's he's, he's a decent coach, and it's good to see uh, the Hawks back on uh, on winning ways uh, again. So yeah, like I say, look on, on paper, the record isn't great, the Hawks, but they are putting a good run of form together now, and the Nets. The Nets, the Nets are, are just they're really really bad away from home. They're both, you know, at the wrong end of the, of the table in the Eastern Conference, and they're, they're kind of only really playing for pride here. But uh, saying that, the Hawks now that now that they're on a, a good run and, and home advantage here as well, should see them win. So the double a reminder is the Charlotte uh, Hornets and the Atlanta Hawks both to win, including overtime, of course, and that's at two point four five. Hi, my name is Prosip Sedan. These are my tips for the weekend. On Saturday, my tip comes from the Premier League, the uh, the Albion Derby between West Bromwich Albion and Brighton and Hove Albion, uh, taking place at the Hawthorns. It's uh, going to be a tough game for uh, for West Brom. They're without a win in 22 Premier League games, 19th in the table, and even though they've brought in a new manager in Alan Pardew, much has not changed. Um, they still can't score goals. They're second lowest goal scorers in the Premier League with 17. They are, they, they've got the worst record in the, in any of the four divisions in England with just two wins all season. Um, chief of, to their problem is they've drawn 10 times in the Premier League in 22 games. They're not converting draws into wins. Now they face a Brighton side that have struggled a little bit of late away from home who are on the back of a good cup win at home to Crystal Palace, who are their big rivals, as it were. Um, but also another team that likes to draw. Brighton, they've uh, drawn four of their last ten away games. They've not actually won away from home since November. Now, this is the kind of game that West Brom and Albion will need to target if they are to have any chance of staying up. They need three points from this. So they can't really play not to lose. But they're going to play a Brighton side who know that as long as they get a point, they're, they're going to deny um, West Brom the chance to take all three. And Brighton are also, I mean, they're in 12th, but they're only three points above the drop zone. It's so tied to the bottom of the Premier League. Brighton can't afford to lose. So I think they're going to um, bound up tight, keep the back line tight, and see if they can nick something. What that means to me, this match screams draw. And so my tip for Saturday's game between West Bromwich Albion and Brighton and Hove Albion is the draw at 2.90. My tip for Sunday comes from La Liga, from the game between Espanyol 
and Athletic Club Bilbao. Now, Espanyol ended the end of 2017 in half-decent form. They won their last couple of games of the year. And at home, they're, they're patchy, inconsistent, I think is the word that describes them. For example, their last home game of 2017, they beat Atletico Madrid, who were in second place on the table, 1-0. Yet they lost to Girona, who are in relegation trouble. Yeah. So it, it's very difficult to see what, where Espanyol are, are, are having any form of consistency at home. They're playing an athletic side who are unbeaten in seven, won their last two away games, and who probably would be looking to take this game as another three points in their um, charge at the table. The one thing that starts me backing Athletic, though, is the head-to-head. You look through the head-to-head records, Athletic have not beaten Espanyol in Barcelona since 1998 in La Liga, which is a, a lot of games. I think it was something like 10, 15 games. Now, I appreciate that teams evolve and teams change, but there are such things as... I don't know how it happens, but some teams do have bogey teams. They just can't beat them. And I've got that feeling that Espanyol have got that hold over Athletic. So with Espanyol finishing the end of 2017 in form, and they've shown they can win at home against teams like Athletic, uh, they've shown they can win at home against teams like Atletico Madrid. So at 2.57 for Espanyol to win at home, I think is, is value. And my tip for Sunday is just that. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, my name is ProTipsToDan, all one word. Or you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash ProTipsToDan. Um, be sure to ask me questions, insult my tips, um, find, check out my betting knowledge. Uh, you will also find me on the Facebook group, Facebook, uh, if you search ProTips the UK. Um, we post live videos and talk about betting strategies and all that kind of stuff all that kind of great stuff to help you improve your betting profits. And my Sunday pick um, is in Germany. It's in the Bundesliga, and it's the Rhein derby. It's a game between Cologne and Borussia Mönchengladbach. Now, it's always difficult on paper to predict um, local derbies. You know, they can go one way or the other. However, I just think this one sticks out for me because Cologne are in such poor form. Six points all season. That's dreadful. Um, and although they did, they got their first win of the season actually, um, just before the winter break, one 0 win over Wolfsburg. However, you know the season's been um, been woeful. They just can't buy 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 points. Uh, they need they need to start winning games if they're going to survive in this league this season. I just don't see where a win's coming from at the moment. Um, I don't see any inspiration in the team. Um, for them to claw away from the drop zone. Um, whereas Borussia Mönchengladbach uh, sitting sick for the minute, and they've won the last two Ryan derbies, um, the latest one being in August where they won 1-0, and although there have been a little bit of hit and miss recently, um, like a couple of wins, a couple of losses here and there, but they did um, pick up a win just before the break, and just before that as well, don't forget, they beat, they beat Bayern Munich as well, not many teams have done that this season. Um, in all competitions, um, and they can actually go, if results go, it probably won't happen, but if results go their way, they can actually go second with a win, which would be fantastic for them and their fans. Um, Reece Oxford has gone back from Gladbach, he's gone back to West Ham, um, it was only ever a loan deal, but West Ham recalled him because they want to start, well, I start playing him, I guess, but I don't know, I don't know how much of a loss it's going to be for Borussia Mönchengladbach because he played the last few games and he looks half decent, but I think they've got enough in the middle of the park to, to cope with his, his absence. And I just think personally, the likes of Hazard and Raphael, um, you know, bursting down the wings and up front for, for Gladbach, I think they'll have enough, uh, to beat Cologne, uh, in their own backyard. And that's why I've gone for a Mönchengladbach win away from home. At odds of 2.19. And another thing for Cologne, if you're, if you're relying on a 39 year old Claudio Pizarro to come off the bench and try and change the game for you, then <laughs> that's where your problem lies. Uh, they need to change things quickly, um, but I don't think it's going to change this weekend. So, motion back for the win for me. Now, on social media, you can find me on Twitter at protips.eng 
and on Facebook at Pro Tips and Martin Free Shepherd Words. Come and say hello. I don't buy it, and I'm more than happy to, to answer any questions you got about what you fancy betting on, what what you think my opinion is of certain games. I'm happy to help. See you soon, guys. My Sunday tip then comes from the NFL. It's the, from the Minnesota Vikings taking on the New Orleans Saints. Now you can't deny that the Saints were uh, were great value last weekend to beat the Carolina Panthers. It was, it was absolutely brilliant, brilliant match to watch. They put on a great. Uh, defensive and offensive we should say um attacking display they were really really good and, and the home the home fans were absolutely brilliant as well it was, it was a great spectacle to watch and uh, yeah they were worth every penny um but the vikings they're a different beast uh compared to the panthers the they have a fantastic home record they have nine out of ten wins uh, 13 out of 16 overall wins and 7 uh, out of 8 uh, wins at home as well now the Saints their overall record is, is very good as well 11 out of 16 wins but it's their away record here that I'm looking at paying particular attention to they've only won 4 out of 8 away from the Big Easy Um. so and you know, going into the playoffs uh, with a dodgy kind of away record like that doesn't really bode well. Now, obviously, uh, the bookies have made the Vikings uh, fairly strong favourites here. They're at 1.45, and, and I wouldn't really be touching something that low unless I was putting in putting it into a double like with the in NBA tips. But um, the other NFL uh, home favourites, they're all a bit too low. So I am actually taking the handicap here of uh, minus 5 uh, for the Vikings to win. They've beaten the spread in 11 out of 15 games overall and in 6 out of 8 at home. So that bodes fairly well. Uh, while uh, the New Orleans Saints, they have uh, they, are, they have actually beaten the spread as well. But uh, only in those uh, 4 out of 8 wins that they've had away from home. So look, I don't think it's going to be an easy game for the Vikings, not at all. But um, they're far better than the Panthers from last weekend and I think it'll have taken a lot out of uh, the New Orleans Saints last weekend as well but um, the Vikings they're just such, on such a great run of form especially at home um, yeah I, I can definitely see them uh, beating the minus 5 handicaps and so yeah so you can get the Minnesota Vikings at minus 5 at 1.93 that's it for me then, Pro Tips to Paddy. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can get me Pro. That's it for me then, Pro Tips to Paddy. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can get me Pro Tips to Pod. I look after the podcasts and a lot of the video stuff over at Pro Tipster. Um, we do live streams as well. Uh, make sure and check out our um, Pro Tips to UK page over Facebook.com. Uh, we usually put out two or three uh, live streams. Uh, during the week where we give our uh, tips of the day so it's usually based on football or soccer or um, NBA NHL uh, they're all going very very well we're really pleased with the response so thanks everyone for that make sure make sure so it's uh, Pro Tips UK over on Facebook check out our YouTube channel as well have a search for um, actually this will be on YouTube but uh, yeah if, if you're seeing this somewhere else uh, look for Pro Tips to Global. You'll find us there. We're putting out our longer videos there, so our podcasts, strategy videos, how-to videos, and we'll, we'll have videos soon as well explaining all about the the brilliant Pro Tips to Coins as well. So uh, yeah, that that's it. Make sure and check out ProTips.com where we will uh, we, we will we'll give you money. We will give you money for sharing your winning sports tips. So get over there, check it out, and uh, you know if you're not that good at, at tipping, that's fine. Loads of people on the website are, so you can check out their stuff and you can learn loads about how to become better at betting on sports. So that's it for me and the lads then. We'll be back next week with more of these weekend picks. But uh, yeah, good luck. Check us out on Facebook, okay? Live streams every weekday. All right, good luck. <laughs>